Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves. Now, today, chums, I want to talk about this post of Sean of the Murrays. Now, this was sent over to me by Hero. Now, when you scroll on down, Hero also does content on YouTube. Go follow him. But on Twitter, he sent me a message to say, these free tiles, are they hints at new updates? And he's blurred them out. So let's jump on over to Sean Murray's post quickly so we can get a better copy of this image. So I'm going to copy this image and I'm going to take it over into Photoshop and we're going to have a better look at each of these free tiles. Now, I've also watched Professor Sinecore's video and Professor Sinecore feels that this one here is most likely the Expeditions one here because it's got this black mass over to the bottom right corner and they've just changed the colorization. And that one is Expeditions, and I, I kind of tend to agree. This one over here, people have said that it looks like there's some sort of arc going up there and something going over here, so it looks most likely to be prisms. But people are wondering what this one here might be, which seems to have a bank on one side and a bank on the other side, and so like nothing really going on in the middle. There's not many other icons inside of this lineup that people are seeing that have that same sort of, you know, setup. But I think this one, well, it's part one does. Look, it's got the bank there and it's got a bank there. So I'm going to have a play with that one. I honestly think it's Weld's part one. So is it that Shaun of the Murrays is hinting that we're going to get another expedition, another update of Weld's part one-esque, so Weld's part two, and it's actually purple, and we know that we're getting purple systems coming in. So I think that might be Worlds Part 2. And then are we also going to get another update that is sort of online with or the same size as Prisms this year? Another expedition, Worlds Part 2, and another sort of quality of lifey type sort of update that brings in a little bit of extra into the world. I think that could be about right. But anyway, let's jump on over into Photoshop then. Now that I've got this image, I'm going to file new. Boom. Put this up and uh, let's paste that in. And then we'll have a little bit of fun, shall we, people? Okay, so firstly, let's go for the one that people are pretty sure on, which is this one over here, Expeditions. So if I copy that one, copy, paste, and I'm going to bring that one down over here because that is technically that one, okay? Now, I think this one is the middle one, so I'm going to copy that one. Copy and paste. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Paste, and I move that one into the middle tile for now. Then this last one, people are saying, is prisms. So let's copy that one there then. And I think they could be right. I mean, it, it does look about right, so... I'm going to question that too much and paste and let's move that one down into that corner there right okay now what i might do though is just move these up a level just so we can see the tiles underneath because i want to try and make them look like these tiles underneath as much as possible now one of the first things that looks like it's happened is they've changed the hue so if i go to image adjustment and go to hue saturation hopefully i can drag the hue so here's the hue here. Uh, I'm trying to get it to go a greeny sort of colour at the top. So let's have a look. Greeny, a dark greeny sort of colour at that. A murky sort of green. Mm, not really one there. Let's go to that. That That's kind of looking like it. Saturation, we want it to be a bit darker. So about there maybe. And make it darker. So maybe turn the saturation up just a little. I know actually that's probably about good okay and then if I go to filter go to blur maybe use a Gaussian blur that's kind of not quite right is it let's just do blur so filter and we go for blur more and then I should be able to just repeat that window uh, filter blur more control F so just keep doing control F until it gets stupidly blurred. I guess. Okay. Well, that's 100%, 100%. Quality, high. Normal. Yeah, let's see if that does the trick. Okay, it's, it's kind of getting there. Kind of getting there, but kind of not still. But anyway, that's, that's, that's one done in a roundabout way. Uh, let's see if we can do that again. Filter, smart blur. 
filter, smart blur, and then control F again. Okay, it's it's kind of kind of gives you a rough idea. Okay, right now this one. So if I go into here and go to image adjustments and then do hue, I'm gonna go and try and make it purple at the top. Purple at the top and sort of like a greeny sort of colour at the bottom. There we go. I mean you can see there that the colorization is about right. Filter smart blur. And I guess I can just hit control F a few times. You know what? I don't like the smart blur. So let's um, undo that a few times. Let's go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. There you go. That, that kind of makes it pretty similar. I mean, I would say that they're probably, you know, changed the brightness somewhat. So let's you know, just put the brightness down a bit. And the contrast down a little. But there you go, now we're getting somewhere. That's fairly close, isn't it? Let's just hit Gaussian Blur one more time. Okay, that's a little bit too much because you can see the text out the top now. But that's kind of it. That kind of looks like it. And then the last one, go to Image, Adjustments, Hue Separation, and about that sort of thing, really, to be fair, isn't it? We can make it a bit darker on here. Then let's just hit Gaussian Blur boom and you kind of can see that they have got the similar sorts of consistencies to one another now they're fairly similar so i kind of think that they have used those sort of tiles and i kind of feel that it's a hint that we're going to get another expedition because they use the expeditions graphic worlds part two because they use worlds part one and then some sort of quality of lifey sort of update on lines with and the same sort of size as prisms which gives us a little bit more to see, a little bit more to do. That's kind of what I think, people. Anyway, sound off in the comments and let us know what you think. If you want to see Professor Cynical's video, he's also come to a similar sort of conclusion on the same two tiles. The middle tile, the jury's out on that one, but I think it is Worlds Part 1 that they've used to create that blur. To me, that looks pretty much on point anyway. And the fact that they made it purple and we've got purple systems coming in, and we also know we're going to get deeper oceans, the sort of blue hue underneath, purple systems with deeper oceans. I kind of think that is Worlds Part 2. That's what I feel, people. And also the fact that they made this expedition go sort of green. I think it might have a little bit more to do with the void. There's also a little bit of a hint of purple and darkness there. Perhaps maybe the Void Mother. I don't know whether any of this sort of stuff is going to amount to ARG Part 4. We're clutching at straws massively with this one, people, though, because, you know, it's just a couple of blurred images, isn't it? Righto, people, so that bomber boy has shared this from inside of the game files, which is like this big iron golem, but it's this little logo on the chest that I, I think is quite interesting. So if I copy that image, jump back over to a Photoshop, hit File New, and uh, yeah, hit New, okay, and paste that little guy in. Okay, so what I'm interested in is this here. So let's just crop into there, shall we? Image, crop, boom, make that nice and big. That's the sort of image that I'm looking at right there which to me looks like a sort of 3D sort of cube. You know, there's a side, one side, there's the other side, top side, and it's kind of like a glass box. That's kind of what I'm seeing in there in that sort of lattice. Now, when you go and have a look over on um, Google Images and you look at the images for No Man's Sky Echoes, and if you zoom in all the way into these images, you can't see any sort of lattice type work on here, okay? Okay, just bear with me one second. If you go on over to the Hello Games patch notes page, you can kind of see something very faint inside of this top image. I don't know how far it's going to let me zoom in. But let's keep zooming in, zooming in. And I can see, I don't know whether you can see that on here right now, the same sort of lattices in the background there. How, was, how far can I zoom in on this image? That's about as far as it would let me go. So you know what, let's do another control or print screen. And I'm going to take this over inside of Photoshop, hit new and paste. And then I'm going to zoom all the way into here, onto this little section here. Hopefully you're seeing what I'm seeing now. Let me see if I can change the brightness on this slightly. Let's, uh, let's hit invert like we did before anyway, so it goes a purpley color. 
There we go. Because I honestly do think that this is a hint that we're going to see the new purple systems in Worlds Part 2 as well anyway. And then if I go to adjust and then brightness and contrast, uh, actually no, that's hue. I want to go image, adjust, brightness and contrast. If I just turn the brightness right up on this and then alter the contrast, maybe bring that down a tad. No, actually bring it up a bit maybe. Brightness. I'm trying to make the lines in between go white. Here we go. This is looking a bit better. If I turn down the contrast now, would that help? No. Oh, oh, I just saw it there. Look, there you go. You can see all the lattices appearing. You see them? They're all over the background of this thing. So there we go. I'll zoom in a little bit more, but I think they're obvious now. They're there. They're all over the background of this, inside of the Hello Games artwork. Why would they hide this logo there or put it there? What is this logo? What does it mean? I think maybe we're going to get answers to this sort of stuff, maybe, inside of the next update. But it does look like the Trivial Pursuit logo. It does look like one of the glyphs that we use for our portals. It's an oddity. It's an oddity, people. It really is. Anyways, that's what I've got so far. So, there we go, people. That's, that's pretty much everything I've got. Hopefully it's given you a little bit of food for thought and... And if you think I'm right, do you think that we're going to get Worlds Part... Well, get another expedition, Worlds Part 2, and something maybe the size of, you know, Prisms or, or whatever that, that last one was. I think it was Prisms, wasn't it? But anyway, people, that's everything i got for you. And salute Mondo. Take care. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Yeah,